this video, we're going to cover integrating Wishlist Member and SAM Cart. So to get started, set up integrations and payment providers, and you'll see SAM Cart down here. Go ahead and click that, and you may need to enable it up here if it's not already enabled. Once you do, you'll see something like this. And the integration with SAM Cart is actually pretty straightforward. It just uses our API. So all we got to do is sort of copy this information over into SAM Cart, and then everything else is done on the SAM Cart side. So if we go to SAM Cart, where you'll need to go is to your account to settings and then you'll see this integration uh, tab here and you click that and you'll need to set up a new integration and from the drop down select wishlist member down here and then hit next step and then you'll see this is where they are asked for the blog URL and the API key so to name the integration if you have multiple memberships membership sites then you would want to give a unique name for each one because that's considered a different integration uh, just so you can sort of keep track of them because we'll use this later this name later um, but sort of name it whatever you want and then we'll simply copy the blog URL and the API key over and once we have that copied then we'll hit save integration and that will save the, the primary integration so the two systems can talk to each other. So that's the first thing that we got to do. Then the second thing is, is when someone buys a product, we need them added to a particular level. Now, you can do global rules and you could set up a rule here where any product that gets purchased, they get added to a membership level. So if that's something uh, that fits your business model, you could do that. But more than likely, you'll come over here under products. You'll create a new product. I'll just call this my product and we'll do ten dollars like this i'm going to stick to one one time i haven't set up a processor and all that here so i can't do the recurring billing stuff but you uh if you're going to be doing that of course we'll want to set all that up but i'll stick to the one time just so i can show you where to integrate with wishlist members so we'll hit create product and then in here you will see this integrations tab inside of this particular product so you can click that and now you can set up a new rule so the trigger is let's say product is purchased we'll hit next step select an integration now this is the site that you want to add them added to that we just set up when they purchase this particular product and we want to add a member next step and what level do we want to add them to so we'll add them to gold and hit submit so when someone purchases this product sam cart will use our api to add them to that to the level we specified here uh, over on your wishlist member site now you can also come in here and you can do okay let's say product refunded or subscription canceled these are some other scenarios that you might want to uh, deal with Pro at a minimum i would say product refunded and subscription canceled because the rest of these are kind of in between states you know if uh, uh, a subscription charged you don't need to do that uh, uh, with wishlist member they'll stay a member of long of wishlist member of the, the level that you add them to for as long as until uh, another trigger happens that tells wishlist member not to so you don't need to have it sort of renewed in wishlist member any every month or anything like that restarted charge failed recovered doing good these are all kind of in between cases the main one that uh, if you're doing subscriptions is subscription canceled you if, if it's actually f goes on and is fully canceled you would want to remove them from uh, a level um, a product refunded that's the one we'll select here we'll hit next step again you can select the integration you can select the action which now is remove member and you go to next step and you could say remove them from gold and that will remove them from uh, the gold membership level so now you have kind of your two scenarios add them if they purchase remove them if they refund so again you can this is all really controlled by sam cart they 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 use our APR API. Our API is fully capable of of all the things that you can do manually inside Wishlist Member, and so it's just a matter of setting up the rules properly for for your products uh, in, inside of Sam Cart so that it tells Wishlist Member what you want it to do when certain scenarios happen. So that is the integration between Wishlist Member and Sam Cart.